going to be doing a, a South Asian chicken curry that's a real favorite with the family. So just to um, overview the ingredients that I have here. So of course I have chicken, I have aromatics that include onions, garlic, and ginger. I have the spice with jalapeno and lime leaves and uh, oil and then spices. I have turmeric and um, cayenne. And then also I have tamarind and sweetener and salt and pepper. So, oh, and tomatoes too. So let's get started. I'm going to turn this on to high. So I get a, quite a good Dutch sized oven here. And I'm going to add my oil. So I have used um, grapeseed oil. And I, I, I like it because it doesn't, it, it cooks at high heat pretty well and it doesn't have a lot of flavor. So we'll add that in. And what I wanna do is get it really well heated up. And to find out, to make sure I've got it right, I use one of my jalapeno peppers. I just put it in there. And then it, what I wanna do is I wanna see it sizzle. And then I will add the rest of them. So part of this is trying to get this oil to be really flavorful and infused with the flavors of the various ingredients that we'll be using. So I've got um, the, the jalapeno pepper sizzling quite a bit, so I'm going to add the rest of them in. Oh, you can see it really spitting. So you can, it's really good to wear your apron because uh, this does spit and uh, it can be a little sore on the skin because it's very hot. So I can see it's really bubbling up now and uh, I can smell and uh, the jalapeno kind of hurts the eyes a little bit. So I'm now going to add the, the onions. So I've got a lot of onions here. Uh, the family really likes them. I really like them also in, um, in recipes. So here we go. Okay, I'm, I'm turning the heat down a little bit with the onions so that it doesn't smoke too much. And you can see they're cooking really nicely. Okay, so the onions, what you want the onions to do is really become translucent. You don't want them to get the fried onions. You want them to, to uh, kind of simmer into the oil and you want um, to make sure that they kind of cover the bottom of the pot so that the oil is um, evenly spread across all the onions. And you can really see that um, the oil is starting to um, um, infuse with, with the juices of the onion. And uh, yeah, you, you wanna, I have a gas uh, stove top, so you have to be really careful with the, the temperature and get it just right so that you're not getting too much smoking and you get that nice simmer. I think these onions are just about ready for the next, which are the, the garlic and, and the ginger. So I'm going to add the garlic. So I have about two large cloves of the garlic, like jumbo size. So we'll just put those in and stir them around. The garlic is it, just mixing it around. I don't want it to stick. And I want to get mixed in with the onions. It's actually just perfect. You don't want to get too brown. Now, I think I'm going to put in the ginger now. So what I did is I, I used frozen ginger. I freeze fresh ginger that we get locally. And then it's really easy to grate. So you really have to stir to make sure that it doesn't stick. Okay, I think we've got it good here. And so then I get uh, diced tomatoes. So I get a large can of tomatoes. I just find that year round it's really good. It's always in your, in your cupboard. And, um, but you can use fresh tomatoes, but when you use the diced tomatoes, they don't have to be cooked quite as long. So diced tomatoes, fresh tomatoes, get them in there and cook 
and let them simmer. And what you'll find is the diced, the tomatoes, the acid from the tomatoes will actually pull off some of the stuff that's getting stuck to the bottom, the ginger and the garlic. Okay, you can see that things are bubbling up nicely. You want to see those bubbles and all the oils in the bubbles. Um, that's showing that it, things are getting infused. So we let this cook for a few minutes before we add our next ingredient. Okay, now what I'm gonna add is the spices, the powdered spices. So I have turmeric and cayenne. And it really is up to you, but I usually add about half a teaspoon of each. The color that comes up immediately, especially with the turmeric. The turmeric has that yellow that's just gorgeous and so it just brings that extra rich uh, color and flavor to the curry that is just super. Okay the turmeric looks like it's done what it needs to do is nice and colorful so I'm going to add the chicken. So you'll notice that um, the chicken is actually diced into the same size pieces, sort of in cubes, so that we get even cooking. So I use organic chicken breasts. I just feel that uh, they're the leanest cut and pretty good for you as well. So I give it a stir. You can see that it's already very thick. So I'm going to have to be a little bit careful. I might ha have to add a little extra water to make sure that it doesn't stick too much to the bottom. I'm gonna turn up the heat a little bit more. So what I want is this chicken to cook partially, and then I'm gonna add my last ingredients. Um, so, but I, I'll talk a little bit about the next ingredient while this is cooking. So I'll just turn this down a little bit. So, um, Tamarind is one of the main ingredients for the next part. And so this is a fruit, and this one is uh, from Thailand. So I've got it in concentrate. So you can get this at most Asian stores. So if you want it really fast, you add a couple of tablespoons of this. It is a, a kind of a liquid paste. And then, but you can also buy it as a pressed fruit. So you can see that it's kind of like dates. It comes in a square, it's quite hard. And so what I do is I cut, if you wanna do the long root from scratch, you cut a couple of cubes of this, you boil it up, you boil some water, and then you soak the cubes in, in some boiling water and let them soften. And then what you do is you put them in a strainer and strain out the juices. And so what will end up happening is it won't be quite as thick as what the concentrate is, but you'll get a, a dark fluid that will help to kind of add a kind of a sweet, sour kind of um, flavor to the, to, the, um, to the curry. And I also find, it, funnily enough, that it actually kind of thickens the curry too. So this will be um, the tamarind and salt and pepper, and also sweetener. So I use um, uh, maple syrup for my sweetener, but you can use honey or sugar, bacon, brown or white sugar, whatever you like. You can see that this is quite thick with the tamarind. And so I will add it in to the pot. So we'll add the tamarind and the sweetener, salt and pepper, in as one of the last ingredients. So you can see how thick and rich that curry is. But you have to be very careful. You can see I'm gonna to have to turn down the heat a little bit, that it's really, it could, it could easily stick to the pot if you're not careful at this stage, because it is quite thick. And you can see the bubbling is really, got the oils, the infused oil in it. Like this is gonna have lots of depth to it, the flavor. And if you wanna leave this cooking for a little while, that's great, but you wanna be careful also that you don't wanna overcook the chicken too much. It just gets then very tough. So it looks like uh, the curry is done. It's really lovely and thick. And so 
You can either have it with uh, basmati rice or you know, even pasta, but today I'm choosing to have it with naan bread, ho homemade naan bread. And to cut the, the heat, uh, I like to put a little yogurt. I use full fat yogurt, plain yogurt on the top, and it's really a hit because um, it just gives that extra depth to the curry, but also when someone's finding it a little bit too hot, it actually cools your, your palate down. So let's get this served up into the bowls. You can see the color of the chicken that's been flavored and colored with, with the turmeric. It's beautiful. Okay, so I'm just finishing up the last little of the, the dishing out and I really hope you enjoyed this. I'm just uh, filling up the last bowl here. Um, it's been a pleasure to show you my favorite recipe and the favorite recipe of the family as well. And let's just get that last little bit in there. A little more yogurt. Oh boy, looking forward to digging into this. Haven't had anything yet. Okay, and a little bit of nan there. So thank you very much for paying attention and listening to and watching this episode with Simply Scrumptious with Sue.